How high is the heaven above the earth? And how far is the east from the west? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. The psalmist in Psalm 103 lists ways that God deals compassionately with his children. Verse 11, the psalmist says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. So how high is the heaven from the earth? In Genesis 1, God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And God called the firmament heaven. And he made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Here, the greater lights represents the sun and the moon. So the sun and the moon are in the heavens and it gives light to the earth. So if you truly want to understand God's mercy toward us, let's look at the distance between the sun and the earth. According to the National Geographic, the sun is about 150 million kilometers, 93 million miles from earth. Let's think about that for a second. Friends, that's how great God's mercy, his compassion, his love is for you and I. It's past finding out. The finite mind could never comprehend it. This verse describes God's abounding mercy. The distance from the earth to the heavens measures the greatness of his mercy toward those who fear him. This fear is not being scared of him, it's reverence toward him, accepting him as Lord and Savior. In verse 12, the psalmist says this, As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. But how far is the east from the west? The earth is a sphere and it turns on an axis east to west. It has a North Pole and a South Pole, but there is no East or West Pole. The distance between the North and the South Pole is approximately eight to 9,000 miles. Hence, the distance between the two is finite. It has an end point. So the ultimate question is, how far is the East from the West? Because there is no east or west pole and the earth turns on an axis east to west, the east will never meet the west. It is continuous, unending, it's infinite. That's how great God's love is for us. The Hebrew word for east in the Strong's Concordance is Kedem. One translation in, of this word in the English language is everlasting. Let's think about that for a minute, how great and how much God loves us. There is seemingly nothing God won't forgive us for. And moreover, he does not and will not hold our past faults over our heads. We do that all by ourselves. Our God is a forgiving God. But remember what Jesus said in Matthew 6 verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So don't forget to forgive someone else of their transgressions against you. God loves you, and he will love you forever. How much does he love you? He loves you infinitely, everlasting, always. Through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, how far has God removed your sins? He has removed your sins for as far as the east is from the west. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.